Ah, welcome everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Zombies! Zombies, zombies, and zombies do we have? I mean, gosh dang. We are going to have to mobilize our entire forces. I've decided last episode that this is a this is a national security. There is no way I'm going to be able to defeat these zombies without exponential health. Not health, but help. Um these zombies are unlike any we've ever dealt with, they are actually big, and they actually want to kill us, so we will really have to deal with that. I mean, th these guys are the real deal, guys. This is the zombie horde that we've been waiting for, and been kind of praying for that it would not appear. So we're going to have to deal with this as quickly as possible. Um, on a side note, we're also going to conquer the rest of this land, and finish up the rest of South America, and we got basically all we needed in South America in one big gigantic fell swoop. That is awesome. Over here in, uh, n you know, new, I'll call this new European America, we are rapidly colonizing everything around here. I mean, they're not even standing a chance. We're just like washing all over them. So let's just keep getting more coal mines and deposits. And let me guess, I can't do it because it's a colonial power. Thank you for telling me this. Let me get some more naval bases. So it usually helps clear my head. But since I cannot go right there, let's go right here. Right here? Nope. Still 80 colonial power. Gosh dang. I may have to go figure out a way to get around that, but for right now... By the way, do I have a declare war? Let's declare war while we're waiting. Um, Because I do want to conquer this little tiny state. Cause this is one of the reasons why I started to be overran was because of this. But anyways, we have a gigantic army right there of 603 men. This is not good. I cannot figure out... I'm gonna have to group up all my men right here to try to go stop it. Um, this army right here, I think, is strong enough to go destroy a couple bigger armies, and I'm gonna support my men fully. Support the men fully. We don't have the resources not to support our men. Okay? And, okay. No! Crush that army! Crush that army! Crush that army! Dang it! Okay, you guys go right there, and then. You guys go right there, and then. Yes! We won. Okay. So, they're getting weaker, though. As the more they keep going into America, the weaker they're getting. Which is good. How unfortunate. Okay. But the problem is, is that they are spawning more and more of these guys. Okay. Sir, just stop! Stop with the stupid good. Now that we're paused, thank goodness, I have to see what's happening here. Okay, so they have a couple good armies inside my land, but I don't think they have enough strong suit to completely over eradicate me. This isn't like when we were fighting in fighting in Europe with Sicily. These guys are not organized enough for that. Okay, and I'm gonna slow down time to like three because I need to like be able to micro right now. This is a major microing moment. You guys just go take over where you need to go because I'm not even gonna watch you guys for a little bit. Um hey, I'm being honest, like I'm I'm paying attention to this gigantic horde that we're gonna kill. This horde is way more important. This horde is like the epitome of what we need to destroy. Once this is gone, all the other zombies are basically of no threat to us. Because I think this is a gigantic horde that has been like stalking our men. Um, reinforcements wise, we have a good amount of extra troops coming in to go help out with the zombies. The zombie problem. I'm going to be grouping up a good unit right here to start conquering all of this. I'll do the Texas Brigade and the I'll do the Texas and Louisiana Brigade and meet them up at Houston. Actually, no, meet them up at Lake Char Charlie because I think they're gonna finish up with Austin before I get a chance to go do that. Um, we're killing off these zombies as quickly and as effectively as possible. That's good. Kill them off as quickly as possible, man. Kill them off as quickly as possible. Um, okay, we killed off that gigantic horde. Thank goodness. Oh gosh, that horde is very scary. That's all I gotta say. Okay, the Battle of Dallas. Really? Oh gosh. <laughs> it, you Texan fans out there, the great battle that almost, I guess is gonna end the war between us and the Zombies was the Battle of Dallas. Uh, okay, I, that is just that seems a little bit wrong. That's all I gotta say. It seems wrong. Okay. Um, down here, it seems like Zombles aren't really coming up. They're starting to come up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I've defeated most of the big gigantic hordes, so I don't have to worry about any others. Um, hopefully. Um, that means I could probably demobilize, but... Uh, 
Uh, should I demobilize? You know what? Let's just demobilize. It's costing us more money than it's worth. And honestly, we got the situation underneath our control now. Okay, start dividing all of our men evenly. Get on the coast. Start reconquesting all of our land. The only... Uh, that's kind of cool. The only places that we lost in this entire exchange were worthless parts of Texas and worthless parts of New Mexico. This is a great day for America! Uh, okay, mechanized mining and all that coming up. Let's see, is there any more troops down here that I'd have to deal with? El Paso, all these places just spawn me zombies. You guys stink. I'm going to go defeat you guys, but you guys stink. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, we have to get this back underneath our control. Um, I do have enough money though if I really had to I can I can go mobilize again um, Can my guys Okay, defeat the zombies. Okay, good. You guys go right there. Go defeat the zombies right over here Okay uh, Go 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 of course not flashpoint tensions I don't really care about that you guys go that way. All right We're just moving around this place because right now there's zombies spawning in places. I don't want them to that isn't good. Okay. Get those get those places underneath our control again. Mechanized mining, good. You guys go go like go on a war path. Just go boom boom boom. And then you guys right here go take out El Paso. And then those zombies are actually retreating. Wow. And they weren't quick enough, so I destroyed them. Whee! Yes. Okay. Fast forward a little bit. Because I think we have enough soldiers to just fast forward a little bit. Okay, get down, get down, get down. Okay, we got another 26 death stack down there. Um, gosh dang. You know, if they just... The the one thing I'm worried about is if they, they just have to spawn one gigantic army of 170, and I, my army would be dead. Okay, all you guys combine into one army. Um, strangely enough, that's a really balanced army. I don't understand why, but that is. Um, the Zombos seem to be moving this way. I'll send an army to go deal with that. It seems like, it seems like due to my own cunningness and courage, I figured out a way to save America. Yes! Okay. Um, by now this should be conquered. No, that's still not conquered. Good job, guys. Over here, though, colonially, we are almost finishing up with South America. I'm gonna be happy when we finish up with South America. Like, seriously, I may do a little dance for joy after we're finished. You guys can build another stuff right there. You guys finish up right there. We have no zombies in America now. I've officially fixed all of our problems. Let me make sure is there any zombies in other colonies? No. We have officially got no zombies in America. That is awesome. I also didn't make a new naval base over here. That kind of stinks. Wait, there's a naval base. Extend it. Okay. We got all of our soldiers on the lines protecting against any kind of zombie threats. I think we actually protect... We protected America, guys. Mmm. Yeah, give it to the USA, everyone, to not fall apart when a zombie apocalypse comes. Yeah! All those future movie, all those things called movies that I've heard so much about, as they always depict the USA falling apart, look what just happened. I proved all you got. I proved all those movies wrong. Look at that. America's still nice and whole. <laughs> America being overrun by zombies. What a joke. Okay, and we still got a lot of factories closing because we're in a war while we're simultaneously fighting against zombie apocalypse. Okay, we just have to wait for Mexico to collapse, I guess, because it's going to collapse. I mean, we really don't need to go in and go conquer anything back. Uh, the only colony that we had going for us has just become ours again, so I'm going to, to get it back into us. Okay, good. And... This is the last place in South America that we need to colonize, because then I basically own everything in South America. There's absolutely nothing that I don't need to own in South America, because I own everything in South America! What up? Okay, so yeah, Mexico is gonna fall. Poor Mexico, okay? And I think after this, I'm going to have to, like, you know, calm down in terms of invasions for a little bit. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna go after Belgium next. That was my next. Well, let's see. How much more time do we have in, with the treaty? A long time. So what I might go do is go take over... Uh, let's see. How many How many little regions is this? Okay, no, I can take over one good region of... Wait, let me make sure about this. Uh, yes. Could I take over? Yes. No. Okay. What I'll do is I'll take over two good regions of Bavaria. 
and then we'll call it even. So let's go right here, go take over Bavaria, and there we go. Uh, France, you guys are actually, I think they, no. Mm. Okay, that really does stink, because every time I start giving France or some one of these great powers credit for, like, conquering more than they're supposed to, they never do. It's kind of, like, kind of annoying. It's like, okay, I'm giving you guys more credit. You guys have the opportunity to, like, expand to your heart's desires. I mean, but you don't use it. Seriously. Like, you should be, like, really, like, jumping over joy for the fact that most of these places are, like, uncolonized. Oh, gosh. Mm. You know, once they complete this mod, because I should mention that this mod is not completed, they should add, like, Europeans actually go after former lands, but then they also go after the rest of the world. Because that'd make this game so interesting. Like, just seeing all the Europeans, like, try to glob together and then just, like, I don't know. I like, see massive explosions and nukes and oh gosh if they if, I know they would never do this but if they added nukes I'd be so happy like so very happy and it seems like yeah Mexico's gone bye Mexico okay and it seems like some zombies took over the rest of Nicaragua so that's good you guys are finally ready to get peace offer except thank you mmm Oh, I just realized I probably could have added more goals there, but I <laughs> uh, wasn't really thinking about it. Okay, Brazil, you guys are the next people to go, because you guys are annoying. Oh, wait, I'm still conquering Bavaria. Whoops. Give me a second. I'll go after Brazil in one second. Uh, mission to Bavaria. It's not working, because they don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Let's just get off all those little dots. Oh, uh, Florida. No, does not make any sense. Uh, oof. this actually does make sense, so I'm gonna keep it around. Um, that does not make any sense. E Pennsylvania, uh, does make sense actually. Uh, excuse me, people. Um, yeah, for rest of these, it looks pretty good. Um, let's see, what's the highest rated craftsman place? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of craftsmen in one place, and that place is not doing good with in terms of like balancing its budget. Let's see, how much am I owing so far? Industrial subsidies? Only 132. That isn't bad. If it was any more, then I'd probably be mad, but it's not. And apparently only about 96% of my people are getting their life needs fulfilled. 96%... Is that good? I don't think so. I don't... Yeah, that's not good. That's, like, seriously bad. Let's, like, decrease that by a little bit. It's gonna like get me make it negatively in money, but what the heck happened? Poor, what is happening to you? I know I've been like really mean and not and taxing you guys, but seriously, what's happened? Hmm. Mm hmm. I guess we shall never know, because I don't allow the poor in, in the White House. Let's go have these men move over here, and I have way more men than I'm supposed to right about now. That is not good. Well, just start making the new army right here in in Santa Fe. And I ran out of money again. Doesn't this always happen, it seems like? Okay, let's just get back to 55 taxes. Uh, we can stop supporting the men as much. 50. 50 is about good. Okay. And there we go. Taxes are now back to normal. Okay, because, yeah, we don't. I don't see any more big, gigantic armies and... Oh, we are really having trouble with the idea of what the heck is, what the heck is Bavaria? Seriously, you know, it's a country that's like right next to us. It's like right here. It's like has resources, and really, I'm just doing this because I want to just go take them over. Uh, let's get to 800 research research points because that's ultimately more important. Mm. Okay, and then more Crusaders. Let's see. Let's see how the great powers are looking up right now. And let's see how they're all doing. So France is our biggest competition. Well, let's see. Who is our biggest competition in some terms of militaristically? Spain. And Spain has nowhere near enough soldiers to beat me. So in terms of military-wise, we are still probably the best military in the entire world. No one is probably going to beat us anytime soon in that department. That makes me feel so happy, guys. You guys don't even know. Uh, we can keep that around. Okay. Uh, it's when I'm worried about when when the factory doesn't start making me this this is not making any kind of money delete that when the factory is making like this this could be irreversible like they could come back from that but when the factory is like making like 
more than five, negative five money, I don't think it's worth keeping around anymore. So I'm looking at all my factories. Most of them are making green. Oh wait, this one's not really seems like it gets enough people because I don't think Georgia has enough workers yet. Um, you have to also think about that too, is that how many workers do they have in their factories? Hmm, let's see, there was one factory I wanted to check out because it was kind of annoying me. This one right here, the cement factory right there is just not making good money. And I don't think it's going to recover, so let's delete that. This ammunition factory, as much as I love it, I don't think it's making enough. Mm. Keep it. <laughs> At least for the time being, because we're about to be... We're expanding our military right now. And apparently more zombies joined in this assault, but I apparently overcame them. Ha! Take that, zombies! See, you guys try to group up and try to like do massive attacks, but look what happened. I overpowered you! And we could create a protectorate in Santa Fe? What? Huh? A Santa Fe. Oh, do you mean this Santa Fe down here? Oh, cool. Oh, I just learned something, guys. I did not know this region was called Santa Fe. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so... That completes, that completely completes all of our conquests of South America. Now we can start focusing in more on Europe. And that's the place everyone's been kind of like, Yes, James. Go towards the Europeans. They are quite weak right now, and you could do so much evil towards them. And frankly, I agree. Tensions in Mongolia. Why do I care? Oh, gosh, it's like, why? And I didn't know Denmark was still alive, even though... The, what? So, what? Scandinavia is alive, and so is Copenhagen. Or Denmark. What? That does not make any sense in my mind. Oh gosh, my brain is going to explode. Oh gosh. Excellent, excellent. Oh gosh. Okay, so we got some more iron steamers. Let's get some more industry stuff. Steel. Get some steel stuff. Oh gosh. Okay, now we can go in and go take over some of Bavaria. Let's go do that now. Oh gosh, I am so confused right now. Require State, Franklin, or Frunzel. I'm just going to take both, so it doesn't really matter whichever one I take. Because I'm going to take both, because I need to get both those regions in one go. Long live the USA, USA, USA. Long live the USA. Yeah. We got more conquests going in the European theater. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Here comes the USA with a giant army. Here comes the USA right now. Mm. Ah, and that is going to be enough of my musical lyrics by James Badley. Here comes the USA. And my armies, we, having all of South America is like really awesome. And I really wish I could fix that right about now. American South America, that is really a stupid name. Like I'm not even going to deny. And oh my goodness. Wait, 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 what? You guys are focusing in on colonization, but you guys won't focus in on all the colonization. Okay, that's gotta be, yeah, that's definitely gotta be tweaked at some point to figure out, like, all that. Santo Domingo now has rights. Okay, let's see. I can give some low pension subsidies. You know what? Let's give some awesome health care to the people, because you know what? They deserve some health care. Tricolet subsidies or tricolet pensions. Let's give some pensions to the elderly. I think they do deserve it. I mean, it's going to cost me a lot more money, but the poor do deserve pensions. They do deserve it. I'm also going to pay back all my debt. There we go. Now I have no debt. And there's armies of zombies moving in. I just have to, like I said, I just have to hold out until, like, Mexico becomes zombie land. That's all I have to do, and then I'll be fine. Back over here in the European theater, <laughs> that 18k should be enough to fight against everything. I bet you anything, no army's bigger than about 5,000. If there is an army bigger than 5,000, that's going to be impressive. But I highly, highly, HIGHLY doubt it. Okay, you guys. Yep, you killed all those guys. Clean, cheap iron has now been invented, so now our iron, our iron railings are now much better. Inorganic industry, that's going to be awesome when we get that. And actually, instead of going for another region in um, Belgium, I think what I might do is just go for an entire conquest of, uh, in, oh, dang, I messed up words. 
Bavaria, instead of just going for the region of Bavaria, I might just go for an entire conquest of, uh, of Belgium. Because... It... Scheitza! Scheitza! Ugh. You know, this is one of those times where I really wish I could use a cheat, because that is so, so mean. I should be able to, like... My people should want to be like, yeah, we want to go to war! Let's see, what's our war exhaustion right now? Zero! See? Our people should be, like, begging me to go to war. Ah. Like, ugh. Just want to say that right now. Just want to say that right now. Okay, let me go over here. Let's see. Any zombies? No, not really any zombies of any kind of threat. Okay. Uh, really? Seriously? These guys are going to be jerks like that? Like, I don't know why my own people are, like, preventing me from, like, colonizing and doing massive good things for the world. I mean, the more I colonize, the more the world's gonna, you know, come together and do stuff. So, it's actually a good thing if I conquer more. Like, I can protect the world against the zombie apocalypse easily. But, the problem is that they have to let me become the leader. And, let's see, how big is this army? That army's pretty dang big. And, oops! Sorry guys, I forgot to say this, but thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time!